The Sturmpanzer IV was a German armored infantry gun based on the Panzer IV chassis. It was known by the nickname Brumbeer or Grouch by the Allied intelligence. It is interesting to note that this name was not used by the German units. German soldiers nicknamed it the Stupa, a construction of the German term Sturmpanzer. Just over 300 vehicles were built and they were assigned to four independent battalions. The Sturmpanzer was designed to provide direct infantry fire support, especially in urban areas. It used a Panzer IV chassis with the upper hull and turret replaced by a new casemate-style armored superstructure housing a new 15 cm heavy infantry gun. The first two models were not equipped for self-defense except for the pistol ports. This feature was definitely not sufficient and resulted in the installation of the ball-mounted front machine gun after the problem became obvious. So, for the early employment of the Sturmpanzers, it was absolutely necessary that the actions were closely coordinated with the supporting infantry. Sturmpanzer were organized into independent battalions called Sturmpanzer Abteilung with 45 Sturmpanzer IV vehicles. Two battalions fought against the US forces in Italy and in Western Europe, mainly in 1944. The first one was the Sturmpanzer Abteilung 216. In the morning of the 22nd of January 1944, the American 6th Corps landed at Anzio. In Italy, the Sturmpanzer Abteilung was first assigned to the 14th German Army. The second German attack started on the 28th of February of 1944 against the American bridgehead after the first attack, lasting from the 16th to the 18th of February, was repulsed by the American troops. During the fighting at Anzio, the Sturmpanzer Abteilung was employed in the woods surrounding the beachhead. They often worked in conjunction with other tank formations, especially the Tigers, and provided anti-infantry support. This attack failed in its objective, but the battalion remained in Italy for the rest of the war. Until the end of May, the unit was fighting around Rome as support of the 2nd Fallschirmjäger Regiment. After the fighting around the Italian capital, they were forced to retreat with the rest of the German forces. From the end of July 1944 until New Year's Day of 1945, the unit had to fight against partisan units as well. The battalion still had 42 vehicles on hand when the US forces launched their Po Valley Offensive in April of 1945, but all were blown up to prevent capture or lost during the retreat before the war ended in May of 1945. The 2nd Battalion, the Sturmpanzer Abteilung 217, was formed in April of 1944. At the end of the June, the unit was still located in Germany. On the 24th of June, it was intended to go to Normandy, but on the 18th of July, the battalion had still not arrived. The battalion seems never to have been employed in Normandy as a complete unit. On the 21st of July, one company, probably the second, had arrived to Normandy. It had 11 Sturmpanzer IV operational and two in short-term repair. Later, on the 29th of July, the company was subordinated to the 1st SS Panzer Division Leibstandarte and one day later its strength stood at 9 vehicles operational and 2 in short-term repair. Most of the battalion was not trapped in the Falaise bucket 
and managed to retreat to the northeast. It had only 22 vehicles in October, which were divided between the 1st and 2nd companies. During the Battle of the Bulge in December of 1944, the Sturmpanzer Abteilung was assigned to the 6th Panzer Army, where they were able to advance to Sandwith. The battalion started the operation with 31 Sturmpanzer force and received until December 19, 14 further vehicles. Starting January of 1945, the battalion was constantly on the retreat and only scarcely employed. Between Bonn and Remagen, the unit crossed the River Rhine. After a short refitting in the Bergisch Gladbach area, the battalion was finally committed in March of 1945 against the advancing American troops, and finally it surrendered to the Allied forces in the Ruhr pocket.